Yeah, let me tell you a little bit about sinusitis. It's uh, one of my interests in my practice here at the Ogden Clinic. Chronic sinusitis affects many people. It's been estimated up to 30 million people see physicians annually for sinus problems. And some of the main presenting symptoms that patients should know are nasal congestion, facial pressure, and then drainage. It's a pretty common constellation of symptoms. Um, patients will often have risk factors that lead them to have repeated sinus infections, one of which would be allergies or upper respiratory tract infections. Once these set in and the sinus infection does not get any better, um, oftentimes they will go see a physician and normally patients will receive decongestants and antibiotics. And after those have been done repeatedly, then it falls into the diagnosis of what we call chronic recurrent sinus infections. Really, the management of sinusitis extends everywhere from medical therapy that I talked about to surgical intervention. But I want to tell patients that there's a middle ground of minimally invasive surgery that can be very helpful. Uh, we've tried to bring a lot of the operative techniques from the operating room back into the clinic to see if we can treat sinusitis in a minimally invasive way. And it's the best analogy I can give. It's kind of like a dental procedure. You come in for about 30 minutes, we numb up the nose, and we open the sinuses that are congested. And therefore, pe patients have the opportunity to have relief without necessarily going through general anesthesia or missing many days of work. You know, one thing I want to tell patients as to why choose an ear, nose, and throat physician to perform balloon sinuplasty. We're experienced in the field of operative sinus surgery. I know the anatomy and I've been doing it for over 20 years. And so we bring that knowledge to the office so we can do it safely and with ease that patients really can have a good outcome.